do you know that when it comes to data there are three kinds of people it comes to the picture there are like data consumers and data producers the third one is the security administrators so all these people need to be collaborate together in order to consume the data produce the data and govern the data so there are few challenges for these people when it comes to managing the data so we'll discuss about that here and also we'll find the solutions for that so let's talk about the data consumers first so traditionally discovering enterprise data sources has been an organic process based on communal knowledge as of now so there is no central location to register the data sources and also there is no way to find where the data resides and which data they need to connect so because of that they need to know the connection path and they need to know the string connection path so that they can connect to the data while developing or consuming those data sources and also there are multiple silos copies of the data which is growing day by day and it's really hard to manage and follow which need to consume for their development process so because of that they may need to reach out to an expert on that particular area and he also may be or may not aware of which data they need to use for the development process and because of that they need to go through a long learning curve process so these are the steps they need to follow on an each and every organizational level then only they can able to consume the exact data which they need to develop for the development purpose this is the kind of challenges where the data consumers are facing now when it comes to the data producers so there are a couple of challenges which they are facing the first thing is they need to create and maintain the metadata this is really a tough job actually i can say that if they need to maintain each and every steps and process what where and how it has to be done so it's a kind of tedious process and now because of the data is globally increasing day by day it's really hard and complex to maintain the metadata manually so it's a kind of playing these games right so it's really hard to manage these things here and because of the growing nature of the data and also there may not be proper process about how we need to restrict the data which is not usable as of now and to whom we need to share so again it's also comes for a learning curve for the users they need to go through the process of sequence then only they can able to get the exact data not only for these two people they have challenges there is also challenges for the security administrators because the data is constantly growing again and they need to share it to the external users multiple users globally and also we are getting data from different different sources so everything it is growing day by day and it's need to be shared with other people it's really hard to manage all these things for the security administrator right and also they need to discover and govern and protect this data through and theft or any kind of hacking options uh, may happen to the data so they need to secure those informations not only that they also need to comply with their comp- corporate policies in order to safeguard the data and follow the company process so everything is there right so three of them has a different different challenges so because of that there is a tool which microsoft has brought up here which is microsoft purview so initially when they launched this previous year so they named as azure purview but now they have changed it to microsoft purview because they have also included the office 365 and also the azure other platforms synapse and everything into together so that only they have rebranded it to microsoft purview so what is microsoft purview so microsoft purview is a unified data governance fully managed tool for your data whether it is your on prem data or it is available on a multi cloud or also on any kind of saas application everything can be managed in a single platform so that's the beautiful thing of this one not only that there are a lot of functionality inside to this one we'll discuss about that now so now when it comes to this one the azure purview which is microsoft purview itself so here we can have a data map where we can see the end to end visibility of our data from where the main source is and then how it goes to the transformation process and what are the other sources we are combining together any other etl tool informations or any kind of process at the end where we going to use this consumer 
let's say for an example you are taking it from the iot devices and making a transformation and then you are finally consuming it into power bi so everything end to end visibility can be possible in microsoft purview so here we can discover our data is just a kind of a scanning process it scans everything inside to our organization with intelligent scanning and visibility of our data sources available in our organizations and not only that it also classifies the data based on the data availability here so it creates automatic data catalog so that we can easily find out which data source we need here and also it creates an end to end lineage view as i told you earlier so we can have a clear visibility of our data where it goes and how it goes so there are main three areas of azure microsoft purview which is uh, first is the data map which is actually gives information of our data and its metadata information it's not actually storing the data it's actually storing only the metadata information about our data sources and if you want to access it through this one then you can access it through apache atlas api connections if you want to use the data and also it automatically creates a data catalog which is a kind of glossary thing which we can the end users or anybody can easily go and search for the data source which they need and it can give the availability of the data it is possible and not only that we, it has an option that we can also create a manual data catalog for our business purpose and at the end it has a functionality of data estate insight which gives an eagle view of our entire end to end data sources available on our organizations so these are the things which comes inside to microsoft purview if you want to know more detail into this one please post your comment in the comment section below i will try to make a series of videos on this because this is a really important thing as we are day by day growing our data and it's really useful to manage our data in a single platform and this is a really amazing tool which has brought up here and the more functionality and pricing of this microsoft purview we can discuss on the next series of videos if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video